Update. AITA for telling another gym member to wear a bra? Thanks so much for all the feedback on my op. A couple people said it was just a validation post. But TBH after you go off on someone like that publicly. Getting a lot of attention. You kind of do feel like an asshole. Even when you feel it's justified. So yeah. I finally did start wearing bras again. And not at all because of this incident. But because I'd been dealing with depression that made me not really try to get dressed in general. Not just at the gym. And, dressing for success, has been a small way to try to get myself back into a better place. Mentally. Anyways. The guy goes to the gym roughly the same time I do most days. So unfortunately. I did have to see him again. Even though I really wanted to grab his bar out of fake concern while he was squatting. I mostly ignored him. Until two days ago. I was deadlifting. And recording myself to check my form. The guy comes over and says something like, You know sumo is cheating right? I get this comment a lot. Mostly from men half joking. And it's annoying. But I just completely ignore him. He repeats it a little louder. And I continue to ignore him. I guess he sees that I was recording myself because then he asks if I have an Instagram. I don't post my lifts on Insta. And if he could follow me. I keep ignoring him. Finally. He says something like, see your form is so much better now that you're wearing a bra. And I. Fucking lost it again. I screamed at him that he's a disgusting harassing piece of shit. Honestly I don't remember exactly what I said but it was. Admittedly. Very vulgar and got a lot of attention. A worker came over and asked if something was wrong. And I said that the guy was sexually harassing me for two weeks and asked to speak to a manager. The guy denied it and said he was just trying to help. And that I was being sensitive. But either way. The manager asked what was going on and got both our stories. Because I had been recording my lifts. I actually had a video of him where he commented on my bra. So the manager gave him a 30-day ban and told me that if he ever bothered me again to let her know. And she would permanently ban him. So I feel kind of vindicated. But I also feel a little frustrated that just one man actually saw consequences for this kind of behavior towards women in the gym. It's nice to see someone have repercussions for their actions. But it's also exhausting dealing with this kind of thing constantly at the gym. Even if it isn't quite as overt. But I guess I'll have to keep calm and lift on. Well done. I'm glad he had his ass given back to him. He had no place talking to you like that. Who the hell does he think he is? His opinion isn't important like he thinks. You shouldn't have to but it was well worth recording your sessions. Keep kicking ass. Love this. Also WTF, he criticizes you and then asks for your Insta? Asshole. You've done a good thing and I'm sorry you had to personally take the hit for the rest of us. I don't even pull sumo but find what he said rage inducing. What an idiot. He knew you were taping and could easily verify that he was harassing you. Good for you for telling him off. Watch out for this creep outside the gym. Never know if he's lurking around. Skeptical smiley face. Op. I just want you to know this has been an ongoing joke in my house with my fiancé since you posted. You're op. I read it to my fiancé who lifts, is male, and as a feminist, also has a brain. And he died laughing about us women having balance issues because we don't wear bras. I constantly am braless and now we joke about how I'll topple over with my bra on tears of joy super happy you. Got him banned for 30 days. But please be careful, aware leaving the gym while he is banned. Some guys get revenge and are legit creeps who will get violent. Stay safe. 
I'm so annoyed for you that the only reason why you were given legitimacy is because you had video. I'd be taking it a step further and asking for permanent specific hours where the member is unable to attend because he made it a hostile space for you. Knowing he's been told not to approach you is not good enough. He will definitely make you feel uncomfortable with his leering upon his return. LOL Sumo is cheating? Sumo focuses on different areas in a greater manner than conventional. I can't believe he had the nerve to bother you again after last time. Very glad you were recording and there were consequences for his actions. I doubt you were the only one he's been harassing there too. What the literal fuck? I got so irritated reading this post I wanted to throw my phone. Seriously. It's awesome that you stood up for yourself like this. I tend to freeze in these types of situations. And immediately regret not speaking up. But you totally did the right thing. You're also protecting not only yourself. But other gymgoers from this creep. You are 100% NTA and an inspiration to us all. Kudos. I had to go back and read the first one since I hadn't seen it. Sorry you had to deal with that asshat. He literally sounds like a kid trying to flirt who has absolutely no idea how to speak to other humans. Definitely not defending him. Like at all. It's guys like him that make that side of the gym uncomfortable. Good for you for standing up for yourself. Glad that asshole got detention. Sounds like he's going to get himself banned permanently pretty soon. He's clearly used to getting away with gross and inappropriate behavior. I had to read the first post but I am really glad he got what he deserved people like that are why I am afraid to go to the gym. I am really glad that you don't have him kver your head anymore. What a fucking turd that guy is. Gents. If you have an opinion about something. Keep it to your fucking self unless you're asked for it. What kind of dickhead thinks it's perfectly fine to tell a woman to wear a bra on any context? This guy is clearly obsessing over you. Be careful. I'd been dealing with depression that made me not really try to get dressed in general. That's a great reminder to those reading this when seeing something similar in our friends and loved ones. People can dress down for comfort, for convenience, or as a statement. But many other times, it's due to depression, and something that should cause us to see whether there are other signs that indicate that someone might need our help. Congratulations for dealing with him. If he is so self-unaware of the way he continued to talk to you while you were ignoring, he deserved to be yelled at. Just in regards to bras. I wear the crop tops. Because the straps on ordinary bras never stay on my shoulders and keep slipping off. Which I find really comfortable. You can find these quite cheap. I've bought some for about the $12 mark. If you treat these like ordinary bras, like in washing, hanging up to dry, etc., they do last really well. I do not understand why some people can't leave other people alone. Males especially. When it comes to commenting to, on girls, women, face with rolling eyes. Refrain from commenting. And shut the fuck up. It's not that hard to shut up face with rolling eyes woman face palming medium light skin tone if you enjoyed this video please check out our playlists full of similar content epic era cast is like doom scrolling for your ears please like share and subscribe